I first heard about the famous Ted Tinley from my older sister. And she would come back from these wonderful places, but not talk about where she had been, but talk about the fact that she had a few dresses made by this wonderful fashion designer, Ted Tinley. Ted was hired by Virginia Slims when the tour first started to make it more glamorous, to make it a more professional product. So we were given uh, real nice clothes, which I think helped our uh, tour. I think that uh, it made us look coordinated and professional, and Ted did that. I wanted something comfortable, I wanted something beautiful, and I saw all the designs and heard about all the champions that Ted had dressed, all the way from Suzanne Langland to Maureen Conley, Billie Jean King, Margaret Court, Maria Bueno, all with different styles, all with their unique style, and I wanted to be dressed by Ted Tinlin as well. Well, he brought style and fashion and tradition. You know, then he was gonna dress us. He was going to bring out what your personality was. You know, it, it, it was great. You felt great. Uh, you felt you were part of a show. And, uh, you know, they that's how they build it. So we wanted to, you know, stand out. And all of us had our own unique style. Very excited about being dressed by Ted. What's most important is that he got your identity. He got the idea of what you wanted to look like on court. I think Ted had a huge impact on women's tennis fashion. I mean, I think it had a huge impact on creating some buzz and popularity around tennis. You know, it was another reason to tune in and watch. Not only was it to watch the great tennis, you know, that the women were performing back then, um, but also to see what they were wearing. I think players like Anna Kornikova, um, of course, you know, always looked great on court. And then the Williams sisters, you know, you have Serena and some of the outfits she's worn over the years. And then her sister Venus, you know, has her own uh, fashion label and, and have wakes women's apparel. So uh, yeah, both, both of those players have, have done a lot, I think, to push the bounds of, of women's fashion on court. Being a tennis fan, I think for me, it's always exciting to see what the players are gonna come out in and the big events. And the US Open, I think, is where we've seen a lot of the real big fashion stories and players like Maria Sharapova, you know, she'll have one outfit for daytime matches and then maybe a black dress for nighttime matches. And so the players have had a lot of fun, I think, working with their brands to put looks together and make sure, you know, they're looking great on court. Uh, the players on the WTA are big fans of fashion in general. They're traveling the world, so they're getting exposed to different looks and different cultures. Um, lots of different styles and they look to bring that into their on-court looks and they're working very closely with the brands like Coco Golf does. It was really cool honestly um, seeing something you know grow from the first prototype to where it is now. Um, the most exciting experience I guess was just the performance aspect of it because you know as much as you know the looks of the shoe is important you know you still have to be able to perform in it uh, and when I first started it was really hard to play tennis in it uh, but now I can't imagine playing in another shoe. It feels great to be able to be involved into the design process process and have an input in what I wear on court so it's uh, very exciting. I've partnered up with Womo Sport and uh, you know they decided to create a, a women's line and call it Donna Sport so I thought it was a great uh, opportunity for me and I think the whole brand uh, their story matches my personality. It's something completely different, completely new and uh, it's a great uh, new chapter. Yeah I feel like uh, fashion is changing all the time it's we're doing kind of like a full circle um, and we're back to uh, more vintage vintage styles. You know when you look at the apparel you want to look good but you also want to feel good and move freely when you're on the court and I think the brands have done a great job of implementing that in a fashionable way. Every element of the tour you want to bring your best level. You want to make statements you make them every day how you dress. So, so you see it both on the singles court and in the doubles court, you know, you've got to really be on your game to stand out now. There's, it's tough out there. 